We are in Yashalom, Mahur. We don't die, we multiply. Happy Kwanzaa to you, 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 and especially you, Chicago. Uh, as we say, come to the Harold Washington Foundation. We are located at 3515 South Cottage Grove at Lake Grove Village every Sunday from 2.30 to 4.30 and then every Tuesday from 6.58. Don't be late to 9 p.m. and every Thursday from 2 p.m. Oh, yeah, to 4 p.m. Don't forget 3515 South Cottage Grove at Lake Grove Village. And you can reach me at 312-671-2773. And I am Minister Robert Ford Plum, President of the Hale Washington Foundation, promoting the world's greatest movie, called The Greatest Good Movie. And Mayor Harold Lee Washington, he named the movie. He also said we must plump the whole community. So we are plumping it up in peace, love, unity, marketing people, promoting freedom, justice, equality, and economics. All power to God and to the people. Team 23. Thank you for listening to me. We love you. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas and Happy Kwanzaa. All power to the people. Thank you. Yes, all right. Come on over here and get in this here picture, sister. Lisa. Yeah, and then you too, young man. Yeah, with, with uh, you know, uh, what we call uh, our good, Good Neighbors Campaign. Good campaign for the Good Neighbors Campaign. Yes. Yeah. All right. With our president, Dr. Dr. Jackie Lee. Yes. Okay. And that means every village. See, every every village is, is is a block. Every block is a village in the neighborhood and every every street is a village. So Lisa means everything. All right, uh, look at this sister. Happy Father, Lisa. Happy Father. Thank you so much. She's a baby Oprah Winfrey, y'all. Okay, all right. And we're going to have to get her to be my ghostwriter in my book. And also, uh, we're going to be partners to Les Brown. Yes. Les Brown. Yeah, nobody but Les Brown, the world's greatest entrepreneur, a positive, progressive, and professional entrepreneur and keynote speaker all over Chicago, America, and the world. Les Brown told everybody too, you have a pleasing me plump day. Amen. <laughs> hey, Mamie Brown's boy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Peace and love. Yeah. Thank you. Have the problem. As you can see, we're out here with Mr. Plump. We're out here at, uh, we're in Oak Park right now. We just uh, finished up over there at uh, Malcolm X uh, Kwanzaa. And uh, we're going to be celebrating Kwanzaa just really for the whole year. Because That's this right. is something that we need to do. We have uh, good neighbors days. here, a real good friends with Jackie Reed and all of us. And what we need to do in the Austin area, Oak Park, and, and the rest of the world for that matter. We just need to work on helping instill uh, good virtues and values in our children. And we're here for them. And we're going to do that one neighborhood at a time one village at a time right. and we're going to work together starting Amen. with this Kwanzaa as we go out of the year 2023 and into 24 yeah. we're going to help try to stop all of that violence by showing right. peace, love, unity okay. as we market our people. Oh.
as many of you all know, I'm a veteran Chicago public school teacher, and I was, I was watching that sister just uh, minister to us and dance, I couldn't help but think, if we take dance out of school and music and art, how then do our babies learn how they are smart? Not if they are smart, but how they are smart. If they don't get an opportunity to experience the fullness of their full bodies and what God has put into them. Because we're more than readers and mathematicians and scientists, we're artists. Yes. And we can also be artists and scientists yes. at the same time. And so, you know, the teacher in me says we have to demand that in our public school systems that our children are afforded all the ways in which they can show how they are smart. And so now, I'm going to bring forward Arande, Arande Beckham. Uh, the challenge of being African. I love the challenge of being African in today's world. It's wonderful. I love digging in my heels against the impossible odds of being black in America. What greater challenge could we have in life today than to be African? What greater testament to our heroism than to overcome the problems that face us today? What greater opportunities can we have to transform ourselves and transform the world in the process? Why would we wish to escape this kind of challenge? It's too wonderful, too magnificent. We should eat this kind of challenge for breakfast. Don't forget. <laughs> <answer. laughs> yeah. Give it up for that baby. <laughs> so amazing. And we're going to bring up another one of our a beautiful young people, Brother Ajani. Permission for my ancestors to speak? No, permission. Um. Johnny, my homie, it's cloudy and snowy. Let's come together. You ain't gotta be lonely. Unity is what the world needs. Seven candles, we don't do trees. Quanta is a blessing to you and yours. Not just a holiday, it's so much more. Don't gotta be flashy, no need to be fancy. It's a celebration, community and family. This season is not about receiving. Light them candles up until they start leaking. As we drink from the unity cup, reconnecting with the ones that came before us. Cause knowledge is the best investment. Without a purpose, there's no direction. All right, now. That means unity. I'm trying to change the world, but everything is new to me. Kuchi Chakalia, self-determination. Gotta stay strong and do better as a nation. This communication can lead to complication. This is not a rap. This is a demonstration. See reparations. May never come. Let's work together and get the job done. Each one, teach one. That's Ujima. Support black businesses. That's Ujima. I do it with a deal. I do it with a purpose. I do it for my ancestors. Yeah, they see me working and I'm creating. Trying to get my rhymes up, expressing my goal until the day my time comes. And we must have faith. Because the money is key. We must break all the locks. And set the world free. And we must have faith. Because the money is key. We must break all the locks. And set the world free. If we don't do it, then who gon' do it? If we don't do it, then who gon' do it? If we don't do it, then who gon' do it? If we don't do it, then who gon' do it? If we don't do it, then who gon' do it? If we don't do it, then who gon' do it?
gonna do it? Then who's gonna do it? Then who's gonna do it? Then who's gonna do it? All right. Early rap. Yeah. Oh yeah. Early hip hop. Yeah. Uh, when we was talking about educating ourselves and liberating our communities and freeing our mind, yeah. and then listen how they look at how they bastardize our music. Yeah. Corrupted our music, That's right. which impacts how we see ourselves That's right. and how our babies see themselves, how our girls see themselves. and get in the bag. And who are the images and what does it tell them about this beautiful black body when the people don't look like them and they want something extra injected, moved, shifted? What are we saying to our children? So I want everybody to live well. It's enough for all of us, but we got to be conscious and we got to be clear about the messages that are being sent to our young people. That's right. Yeah. Good. Because Cardi B ain't singing to me. <laughs> I know that's right. Hallelujah. She ain't, she ain't checking for me. All right. Megan Thee Stallion ain't checking for me. But I'm my fifth graders, my sixth graders, yes. she my 16 year olds, they checking for them. That's right. Especially and they're not. corrupting how they see themselves in this space. And they're corrupting our boys about how they see themselves in this space as artists and creators. See? We are more than that. We are more than our body. And that is an oppressive mentality. That is a slave mentality to commodify this instrument. That is a slave mentality. And the only person and the only people that's going to check them is us. Yeah. And we're the only people that's supposed to. Stop leaving our work up to the same people that enslaved us. How do we expect the person who provided the, the illness to provide the cure? That's right. Tell the truth. That makes sense. So we got... A lot of work to do, and we got some hard work to do, but guess what? It starts with your own family. That's right. Your own block. That's right. Your own neighborhood. That's right. It doesn't have to be a global phenomenon, y'all. Can you imagine how we can transform our communities if we just identify one or two young people that we was going to invest in? On our block. That's right. In our family. I'm talking about transformation. That's right. And, and I'm talking about it to be see-through with our babies so that they know they're more than their mistake. That's our work. That's not the public school's job. That's not the government's job. That's our job. Mama, daddy, auntie, uncle, cousin, big mama, neighbor, everybody up in here and the people that didn't show up. Amen. So I'm going to challenge you all today to just pick one. That you, yourself, are going to commit to for a year. A young person, you are going to invest your time, your knowledge, your resources in for a year. Because if we are not intentional about saving our children, do I need to explain the rest? Get it? That's right. Teach. And that's what says stand. That's what says stand. All right. Now we got, what's Yimmy Yam? Yimmy, 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 Yimmy. All right. And now we're going to bring Yimmy 
uh, Kwanzaa comes from the harvest of first fruit. And so our harvest the Dado family is not necessarily vegetables as much as it is the promises that we made, Mama said, for one year, and the promises that we kept and those that we was able to execute. And so if our child asks to do something and they, they, they engaged it for a full year, then young, you earn that Zawadi that we was talking about earlier. Everybody good with that? Yeah. yeah. All right, next. We have the Kikombe Cha Umoja. You want to try that? Kikombe? Kikombe Cha Cha Umoja. Umoja. And that's the, the Unity Cup. And the Unity Cup uh, is is the uh, what we pour our libations out of. We have our Tambito out of. And we at the end of the uh, program, uh, traditionally, we will take a sip and we will make a promise to the community of what it is that we're going to do. Because of social uh, diseases and things of that nature, we don't do that anymore. Uh, but that's how the Kikombe Chapu Mosa was traditionally used. And so now inside of the Kanara is the Musha Masaba, the seven principles. When we look at the seven principles, these are the seven principles of Kwanzaa. Who knows which principle we here to celebrate today? Oh, y'all so slow. <laughs> but that's okay. We're here to, to celebrate who? Ujima, Ujima, correct, Ujima, collective work of responsibility. And so, with the, uh, the uh, in, uh, so the seven principles, excuse me, the seven candles represents the Guzo Saba, the seven principle. The one in the middle, the black one, is uh, Umoja. And then as we're lighting these, we light it black, red, green, uh, red, green, red, green. And so it's Umoja, Kuchichagalil, Ujima will be today. Ujima, Nia, Kaumba, Imani, Ego. And so those are the seven principles. And again, I think the sister uh, Stamps was saying earlier, these are not principles that we celebrate during Kwanzaa, but these are principles that we practice and live our, <coughs> excuse me, our entire life. Is everybody good with that? Yeah. And then last but not least, and we can see it reflected it in, in the uh, Musha Masaba, the seven candles, is our Taifa Yabandera, the flag of our nation. We do have a flag that was given to us by the Honorable, Honorable excuse me, Marcus Messiah Garvey, and that flag is the red, black, and green flag. You will see that uh, as African nations move towards their independence. Now, this flag was given to us in uh, uh, 1920 uh, by Garvey, and uh, as other African nations started getting their independence across the continent of Africa into the uh, late uh, 40s and early 50s and up to the 60s and 70s, you will see that many of them embraced red, black, and green. You will see it in Kenya, you will see it in Ghana, you will see it uh, uh, in, a, in many of the, uh, the African uh, nations. And so these are our national colors, right? These are our national colors. And so when you think about it, one to five flags as a representation of you, that's the flag that you should be flying. Everybody good with that? Yes. And so on that note, uh, that's uh, a short version, is a, a speed round of what uh, the Kwanzaa uh, symbols are. And again, there are seven uh, symbols plus the flag made the eighth one. And so I say Asante Sam. Footprint.
Okay. Who would like to say one thing or two things for the young people here and the brother? Come on. Thank you very much. Ray on Yon Shalom or Kura. We don't die, we multiply. That is beautiful. As you are, you are now a superstar. All right. All the sisters in the house, you were different. And you were baby over one for now. You heard it first from yours truly. My name is Minister Robert Floyd Cole Plum. Uh, that code is the Nat King Cole in my family. Uh, I'm also part of Yahshua, the Lord of the world, who so most know as Jesus Christ, which looks like us. No fuss, no cuss. And what I have to deliver to you today, not just the children, but it's all about you. Uh, who, me? Yes, you. Uh, coming from you to me. And that is PMA. And what is PMA? Positive mental attitude. Let me hear everybody say, PMA. PMA. And what is positive mental attitude? PMA. <laughs> and why, why do I have positive mental attitude? Because you are a superstar. And I am positive mental attitude. And this is a way of, of life that we can share with you, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa yeah. equals to 23. Did you know? Kwanzaa okay. equals to 23. How many people was born in Chicago? Raise your hand. So that means automatically you was born a 23. Brothers are different, but like Michael Jordan, he just made it popular. Like Michael Jackson, born 1958. So don't be late. Tell everybody, don't be late. Don't we, be late. We, we gonna be doing Kwanzaa 365 days. That's the application from the Hell Washington Foundation. And I can be reached at 312 882 59 And I'm Hell Washington's son. And we are reflecting on, on in, in Chicago, the North. Lawndale Community News. And we have, you know, uh, community is unity in the community. And the Chicago Sunshine said that Bill Washington is the world's greatest mayor of all time. He used to always say, too, that uh, we must pump the whole community. We are pumping it up in peace, love, unity, marketing, peace. And that is you. Because you are the children, you are the people, and you are the world. And the boys is like Michael Jackson. He was born in 1958. You know, numbers don't lie. People lie. You know, I'm guilty of myself. You know what I mean? They all lie. Black people lie, right there, lie. You can tell them I said it because I'm a godfather. And uh, remember that uh, uh, PMA is the way to be. Each and every day. But you got one, right. and it's yours. And your story is just as important as Dr. King's, as Maya Angelou's, right. as Oprah, as anyone else. Man. And we have these wonderful gadgets in our hands that we want to wrangle out of our children's hands so that their minds are just not blocked. Uh, we can use those instruments for good, and we need to start documenting 
our stories, especially our elders. Record them. That's right. Talk to them. Yep. They are walking around with all of this information and all of this history that they've already lived through that we're reading about. And you can have what you're reading is called a first person account of someone who lived through a real thing. There are people in this room who were alive when Martin Luther King was speaking at Washington. That's right. There are people yeah. in this room who were alive when there was black people for 300 plus days that we are not taking a bus. That's what black people can do. That's right. They yeah. said no, and they had the Montgomery bus boycott. And those domestics walked. And we figured out other ways to do it. That's our history. Amen. And there are people in this room that live through that. So please, please, please value your story. And did you all hear what she said? Um, she was talking in some of the she clicked about access. Oh, when she said when she sold her first book, it wasn't because it was just her book. But there was another black woman who had power, who saw the power in her book that advocated for everything she needed to happen for that book. So it went back to our elevation and access is connected to somebody else's. Right? That's so right. If you're sitting on your gift, you're not only blocking your blessings, you're blocking the blessing of the person who's supposed to benefit from you activating in your gift. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. The yeah. other thing that was said that I think is so important is that Baba talked about a single, a single piece of corn and how many come from one. And sometimes we're hesitant to invest that one because we don't know where the harvest is going to be. Yes, praise God. That's not our job. Hallelujah. Of God. Our job is to sow the seed and and depend on others for the watering That's right. and for the harvest. Yeah. But our job is to sow the seed. I don't know about you all, but I was full listening to her story. And I believe this. If you operate in the call, you'll get the calling. That's right. Amen. She didn't know when she was writing in the margins that she would sell a book for a million dollars. She started operating in the call. And then the calling came. So there is something you've been nudging Something in you that's been nudging at you to do. And if you start operating in that, mm. that is your purpose. Tell it. That is your passion. That's right. And that will be your 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 your, your provision, your money. Yes. Amen. It's all connected to, to you, you operating in your purpose. That's right. God, God's will in your life. Amen. Yes. We have volunteers tonight. If you're going to be serving, we're going to be in the small, small meeting room. And we thank you for your service in advance. Um, how many of you all have attended the Uniquely You Tea Party? Okay, yeah. She is the origin of the Uniquely You Tea Party. Okay, the Uniquely You Tea Party is a vision that God gave once. Is this our fourth year we come out? Yes. Fourth year, four years ago. Because little brown girls and little black girls in Oak Park were not seeing themselves and were not being valued and were not being supported and poured into in environments where they were not the majority. That's right. Yep. And this mama, recognizing that that was happening to her daughter, said, if it's happening to my baby, 
is happening to other babies that look like my baby. That's right. And I need them to know how unique they are and how special they are. And so Wanda started the Uniquely You Tea Party. And each year it's grown. And this year, when I said, well, what are we doing for the tea party? And what you want me to do? She said, I want one thing. What, Wanda? I want to have it at the Old Park Country Club. Right. Amen. Woo. Okay. And so, on February 11th, we will be hosting the fourth Uniquely You Tea Party at the Old Park Country Club. Yeah. to the tea party is it always features a book it's always based on a vision yes, and a book this year is based on Afrofuturism yes African right. and the author is the author that was present today and this is the book yeah. That's being centered in the community in the party. So, it's a heart. Zara, the wind seeker. Lastly, I said to my friend, people don't really know what Africa futurism might look like. I said, so, what's the visual we give them? Is it Wakanda? Like, what we doing? We coming in like, Regal African, what we doing? And she was like, it's all of that. It's all of that. And we're going to roll with it. Amen. And science. And, and science. And said, we got, look, we grow, we got stuff and things that's going to pop off. All right. But I'm going to say this. I said to my friend, we should have all of the baby girls in guard. They should have beautiful guards. Beautiful. Now, how many girls did we do last year? 85? 86 girls. 86? Amen. Community, we need 86 stars. Okay. I don't worry about the why or the how. I, I put the ask out there and the universe responds. Amen. Amen. So I'm saying to y'all Amen. on December 28th, yes. if you're a seamstress, if you're a shop owner, if you want to donate, if you want to support in any way, I want to see all of our beautiful brown, black baby girls in beautiful garb for this Uniquely UT party. And if you want to volunteer support, please let want to know. Because on that day, our girls are hosted by a village of women, a village of queens the whole afternoon. And it's all about them the whole day. They get to be their uniquely beautiful, brilliant, black and brown selves. That's right. And it's completely true. <laughs> the Black Family Pledge. Because we have forgotten our ancestors, our children no longer give us honor. Because we have lost the path, our ancestors cleared, kneeling in perilous undergrowth. Our children cannot find their way. Because we have banished the God of our ancestors, our children cannot pray. Because the old wails of our ancestors have faded beyond our hearing, our children cannot hear us cry. Because we have abandoned our wisdom of mothering and fathering, our befuddled children give birth to children they neither want nor understand. Because we have forgotten how to love the adversaries within our gates and holds us up to the mirror of the world, shouting, regard the loveless. Therefore, we pledge to bind ourselves to one another, to embrace our loneliness, to keep company with our loneliness, to educate our illiterate, to feed our starving, to clothe our ragged, to do all good things knowing that we are more 
and keepers of our brothers and sisters. We are our brothers and sisters. In honor of those who toil and implore God with golden tongues and in gratitude to the same God who brought us out of hopeless desolation, we make this pledge. Yes, Global City, baby. All right. God bless you, man of God. Yes, sir.